now this part is like really important like what would be co- what would be the opposite of no mind we like mind no? but the mind or thinking is not the appearance of thoughts the mere appearance of thoughts is not thinking i mean no? <laughs> where are you <laughs> the mere appearance of thought is not thinking yes yes this is a very important point just the mere appearance of thoughts is not thinking is it because then what also many spiritual seekers are trying to do is to like, shut up shut the thoughts mind will be shut you know just to, <laughs> you know, once you hear that the mind causes all the trouble right? and you have to get to the no mind right? then the mind itself will play that game who do you feel is saying shut up the mind itself You see, then the thief dresses up as the policeman. You see, pretending to help you catch the thief, and that is the checker guy or the or the devious one who is trying to confuse you, is trying to distract you. So you say, why will this mind never shut up? I want the mind to be quiet. That is the mind voice. You see, that is the mind itself, which is posing like that, saying, I am not the mind. I am your friend. I am helping you. I am your spiritual guide, inner spiritual guide. Is he was helping you? Can okay, you speak like that? See, bacha, you better shut up. <laughs> so nonsense, right? Like so, so this is I'm I'm making light of it, but actually it's a very important point. Many times we feel like the spiritual concepts that we have, or the things we've heard in satsang. that is actually something other than the mind that is our intuition we feel that that it is it is so but it is not so is it and the, the spiritual mind is still the spiritual mind and the progress of the spiritual mind the attainment of the spiritual mind is the attainment of the spiritual seeker which is to become a spiritual ego and not a enlightened one or a free one this is a very very important point which will save you maybe a lot of time maybe a lot of trouble also